Over the past couple of days, West Michigan has mourned the victims from both families. And that support continues tonight in Grand Rapids with a candlelight vigil at Creston High School. And that is where we find 24-Hour News 8's Megan Stembo, who just spoke with a woman who lost so many of her loved ones. Megan? Pat Emkins, she is the mother of Amanda and Kimberly, the grandmother of 10-year-old Marissa. I saw her earlier tonight, actually, at the benefit for their family over at Diamond Hall, and she just expressed to me how just overwhelming it was, some of these uh, shows of support that the community is coming together to put together. Here's what she had to say tonight. Extremely. I am overwhelmed at the fact that all these people came out to honor our children because I am not the only person that was involved in this. There were other grandparents and nieces and nephews and I was just overwhelmed at the whole thing. I mean, I can't believe everybody that came out. I can't. It just, I can't. That's about all I can say. It's just. Well, earlier tonight, she told me that she's just feeling numb, having lost her only two children and her only grandchild. Uh, we did speak with her a little bit further than what you just heard, and you can hear more of her interview starting tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Now, this vigil tonight, breaking up right now, it was uh, more than 100 people out here with candles, with support for the uh, uh, both families that were victimized by the by Thursday's massacre. This vigil started with a few words by the organizer, a woman who was tied in several ways to some of the victims, as well as the killer, Roderick Dantzler. Several people spoke very off the cuff. They just were people in the community that just wanted to put some of their feelings into words, just get those out there. For the most part, though, people have just were just standing in silence, really looking only for unity tonight. And one of the things that was included in this visual tonight was the singing of Amazing Grace and also Silent Night, which obviously is a song that's associated with the Christmas holiday, but listening to those words sung tonight, it certainly seemed appropriate. We're live in Northeast Grand Rapids. I'm Megan Stemble, 24-hour News 8.